13 men, this is more than an ordinary mass. I got emotional from the very beginning. That's because these seminarians are taking a big step in their lives. They're being ordained transitional deacons. And in about six months, if all goes well, they will become priests. This is something I've been dreaming all my, all my, all my lifetime. Laying prostrate on the floor of St. Joseph's Seminary in Yonkers, they pray to the saints for guidance in their new roles. The 13 men include eight from the New York Archdiocese and the Diocese of Rockville Center, two from South Korea's Diocese of Daejeon, and three from the Diocese of Brooklyn. They all come from different backgrounds, but each has been waiting for this Saturday. Watching so many other years of friends of mine now that are priests and watching them do it and now to do the same thing, that definitely hit me. Actually, I've never uh, imagined to come to the United States or spending my life in other countries, but so it's very great. I mean, <laughs> it's a very powerful day. It's a culmination and a beginning. Bishop John Barris, Rockville Center's Catholic leader, presides over the liturgy. By laying on his hands, he invokes the Holy Spirit on the young men, allowing them to celebrate sacraments such as baptisms and marriages. Really, I'm just looking forward to, to being part of a new community. And the deacons get started right away. Oh, that was baptized there. After Mass, each deacon is given a letter telling them where they will serve before priesthood. The men of the Brooklyn Diocese see their new assignments as great opportunities. I'm very blessed to be with uh, the Parish of Mary Queen of Heaven, which where I'll be going now as a deacon. I was there last summer. People were great, and I'm really looking forward to going back. But that is the uh, sacred heart of Jesus and Mary and St. Stephen in Carol's Garden. So, yes, I've not really been to the parish. Yeah, yeah so, um, and uh, it's, a, it's a good thing that probably I'm going to experience a new environment. So I'm going to St. Fidelis uh, in College Point mm -hmm. uh, with, and Monsignor Heron is the pastor, which is pretty funny because he was the pastor of my home parish when I was a little uh, kid. Bishop Barris says the deacons will do more than just serve. They will help build the future church in a time of testing for Catholics, coping with the clerical sex abuse crisis. These young men are stepping up at a really challenging time of church history. The fact that they're following the power of the Holy Spirit is such a great moment for our church and such a sign of hope. And these soon-to-be priests are looking forward to fulfilling that hope and meeting the challenges ahead. In Yonkers, Katie Angusser, Currents News.